Our technological advancement has given us access to more information than any previous civilization on Earth. Yet with all these facts, we still haven't learned everything yet. So here are 10 natural phenomena science can't explain. The Hub has looked into the dark corners of the world to find sometimes creepy and always intriguing mysteries. We've built towering spectacles and hidden wonders like the Caveo dos Conchos, which looks like a scenic sinkhole, but is actually part of a man-made damming system. But humanity's handiwork can't compare to the beauty and complexity of these natural phenomena. As we see the sights, keep your cameras ready. But if you can't press the flash button fast enough, then click on our subscribe button to get the latest unbelievable facts about the little rock we live on. The hum. Imagine the most annoying noise you've ever heard. Maybe it's nails on a chalkboard, or maybe it's the voice your mom would use when telling you to take out the garbage. Now multiply that by a thousand and pretend you have to listen to that every waking moment of every day and you'll know what it's like to experience the hum. Disrupting the sleeping patterns and changing the lives of roughly 2% of the population, the hum is a low, distant rumbling noise that afflicts its listeners the world over, usually at night and usually indoors. When first heard, listeners thought it was a neighbor's home entertainment system or a nearby factory, but eventually they found similar stories of other victims online and in the news. This confirmed for them that they didn't suffer from tinnitus or any other hearing disease. A geophysicist named David Deming did the earliest scientific research on the hum and theorized that it might be the result of the mid 20th century US Navy project called Take Charge and Move Out, in which planes communicate with nuclear submarines via low frequency transmissions whose vibrations could be the cause of the intolerable noise. Although this theory didn't solve the case, an online world hum map was created in 2012 to help hum sufferers connect and share in their hearing pain. Hestalen Lights By day, Norway's Hestalen Valley is a lushly forested preserve. By night, it's host to dancing lights that hover in the sky and sway of their own volition. The shape-shifting orbs have been known to transform from ball shapes to complex spiraling configurations. To the random hiker, they're a free laser light show. But to the garden variety conspiracy theorist, these lights are the work of UFOs. Yet is there more to this place than alien intervention? Scientists investigating the area looked for an explanation that was based more in fact than conjecture, and their findings didn't make the possible cause of the lights any less creepy. Although they have yet to confirm this to be the light's cause, they discovered the rocks in the area to have an unusually high radon content. Radon is common in rocks, but when it's available in abundant levels, its radiation can cause many bodily ailments that are difficult to cure. The radon within the rocks emits alpha particles over time, which then adhere to dust particles and seep into the atmosphere. So if you decide to take a hike in that area, be sure to wear a hazmat suit or at least hold your breath. Star Jelly Comets and meteors are clumps of rocks hurtling through space at incredible speeds. At least we tend to think of them as rocks, but as they pass over certain areas of our planet, rather than leaving behind bits of dust, they have often been reported to result in gooey star jelly falling to Earth instead. While years went by without a valid explanation for this material, some studies suggested that this jelly wasn't from space at all, but rather exposed gelatinous material from the jelly-like leftover remains of frogs. Researchers believe that this goo just coincidentally happened to be in the same location where witnesses viewed a space event and had no relation to the passing celestial happening. Stranger still is material called angel hair, which similar to star jelly has been reported to fall slowly to Earth after viewers watched a passing comet, meteor, or UFO in action. The long, white, hair-like substance would land in clumps, and when touched and played with by witnesses, it would transform into a gelatinous consistency and eventually dissipate. Unfortunately, not much research has been done to investigate angel hair, but maybe someday we'll learn more about the origins of this space goop. Ball Lightning You probably know of great balls of fire, but have you ever heard of great balls of lightning? These explosive reactions are the result of a normal lightning storm gone wild as a ball of white hot electric light erupts from the ground and rises into the air, creating a luminous glow lasting several seconds. Scientists aren't exactly sure what causes ball lightning, and in fact video and photographic evidence has been hard to come by, although stories of ball lightning have been going around for centuries. In a lab-based test, researchers found that the ball lightning created in their experiments contained the same silicon, iron, and calcium components present in the soil. It's thought that when lightning strikes the ground, it liquidates the silicon in the soil, creating an atomic silicon gas that rises into the air while interacting with the surrounding oxygen. 
believed to be superpowered plasma, these anomalies range from the size of a baseball to the size of a van, and were officially labeled as ball lightning like atmospheric pressure plasmoids by experts. We assume this would have been right up Zeus's alley if the mythological god of the heavens ever wanted to make an upgrade to his arsenal. Baygong Pipes Unlike the fleeting and instantaneous event of ball lightning, the Baygong pipes have been around for over 100,000 years. The pipes were stumbled across by American paleontologists digging for bones in the area around Mount Baygong, just outside of Delinga, China. In a pyramid-like mound of earth at the base of the mountain, scientists explored one of three caves and discovered a series of pipes perfectly embedded into the rocks and running through much of the mountain itself. As this discovery was made in 2002, there hasn't been all that much time for this discovery to become a legendary unsolved mystery, but it still caught the imaginations of conspiracy theorists and random curious readers alike. Around the pipes were found to be stones that could have been used as tools by whoever may have crafted these iron pipes that are connected to a bed of an ancient salt lake. And who smelted them is a pretty curious question since they're dated to approximately 140,000 years ago and modern human history only extends back 30,000 years. While many argue extraterrestrial involvement, skeptics are quick to point out that the iron piping could be solidified magma, iron sediment, or petrified tree roots. Oh my god particle. The God Particle has been getting a lot of publicity lately, as scientists spent decades trying to prove the existence of this elusive subatomic particle which gives mass to all things in the universe. But the Oh My God Particle is part of a newer theory that's absolutely out of this world. Back in 1991 over Utah, this Oh My God Particle was first detected, streaking overhead only slightly slower than the speed of light. That's right a particle millions of times faster than any speeds we could produce in a lab, and it was found right in our neighborhood. Traveling at 320 EEV, exa-electron volts of energy, it was a heck of a lot faster than the 60 EEV speed limit at which scientists theorized particles would slow down. But this one came from an unknown source nearby and is still confounding astronomers and physicists. A cosmic ray hotspot found in the northern hemisphere is believed to be the culprit, harnessing these passing particles and sending them hurtling towards Earth. Without the hotspot, Spot, we wouldn't be able to see these groundbreaking subatomic objects shoot into our neighborhood. These particles have the potential to revolutionize astrophysics and ensure that we are truly living in an OMG moment. The Pink Lake Meanwhile, in the southern portion of our planet, Australia's Lake Hillier stands out above other bodies of water. This famous pink lake is so deeply colored, even a small glass of its waters will retain its rusty pink dye. Its contrast is made all the more noticeable because this small lake, at 2,000 feet long, lies right next to the deep blue waters of the Pacific Ocean. Scientists have not yet agreed on what makes the lake its brilliant pink hue. Could it be the Denalia salina microalgae which generates the same color pigments seen in carrots, albeit with a slightly different shade? Or the reaction between the water's sodium bicarbonate and the salt in the lake's bedrocks? Or it could possibly be the halophilic bacteria present in the land surrounding the lake. Although scientific questions still remain, the lake is great for tourism as the pink water is harmless to any person who wishes to take a dip. First discovered by explorer Matthew Flinders in the early 1800s, Lake Hillier lies in Middle Island, six miles off the coast of Western Australia. In the years since its discovery, it served as a beautiful swimming hole and a wonder to modern science. Fairy Circles, Namibia. In the desert of Namibia, strange circles pockmark the landscape as far as the eye can see. These little rivets, lightly embedded into the dusty surface, have been known as fairy circles, and local culture has attempted to define them for generations. The indents in the red clay have been referred to as the god's footprints and are even believed to be charred spots where dragon's fire was breathed. Scientific theories have been more measured. Earlier explanations pointed to subterranean termites eating their way through the underground area and causing an above-ground circle formation in the process. A similar offering suggests that different strains of grass are fighting for the top spot on the desert surface and end up creating a no-man's land where neither grass survives. Researchers ran a series of computer simulations incorporating both these theories and found that likely both were cooperating to cause the fairy circles. Warring bands of termites set up their home bases near each other, eating vegetation in the center of what would become a fairy circle, and engaging in a Cold War standoff in which they cannot consume in the enemy termite area. When combined with self-sustaining methods of local grasses, a fairy circle shape could be etched into the land. Synchronous Fireflies 
Unlike the battling factions of termites in Namibia, the teamwork of fireflies in North America creates an illuminating nighttime sight. In the Great Smoky Mountains, a beautiful display can be found each summer as Photonus carolinus, a species of synchronous firefly. One of 19 different species found in the park, they are the only synchronous lightning bugs there and are one of only two spots where the synchronized flyers can be found in North America. As bioluminescent beetles, lightning bugs can take one to two years to grow into adults, but only get to enjoy their fully formed adulthood for three more weeks. Knowing they don't have much time left may be why they don't eat any food as adults. As to why this species of fireflies emits coordinated light shows, nobody knows for sure. A theory offered up by scientists postulates that the lightning displays are mating competitions between men to see whoever is the fastest to alight. Or they all light up at once so females can see which male firefly is best at it. The ideal time for these light shows are from the end of May to the end of June, depending on the weather. Humpback Communications if fireflies can light up entire forests with luminous choreographed shows, imagine what bigger brain mammals can do on a larger scale. Apparently, they can learn and adapt to changes pretty quickly. When herrings, their primary food source, faced a downturn in population off the coast of New England, the whales needed to adapt quickly. Before 1980, all humpbacks had been known to use a bubble net feeding method. Herds of whales would swarm under a school of fish, confuse them by blowing bubbles up towards them, then maneuver around the bubble net to catch the prey. By 1980, a seaside observer caught a whale tapping the water's surface first before diving down into a fresh bubble net. This method, known as lobtail feeding, apparently works particularly well with catching sand lance, and by 2007, it was practiced by around 40% of the local whale population. That's quite a testament to these animals' cognitive abilities. In addition to feeding techniques, the mammals are known to recognize patterns and even teach each other songs. Now, if only we could train whales to sing some hits, we could have the first best-selling album sung by an animal on our hands. We hope your mind hasn't been too blown by these natural phenomena. As age-old mysteries are solved and we learn more about the world around us, maybe you can be a part of the new exciting discoveries that lie just around the corner. In the meantime, there's always more weird and unexplainable things to uncover on The Hub. Thanks for joining!